yes working as expected and if i click this i should see the last one row hello i hope you guys are doing good welcome back to my youtube channel so as promised i am back with part two of custom pagination okay and prior to proceed with this video i would like to request you guys to go watch my previous video wherein i have covered how to build pagination custom pagination for editable grids okay and in this video i will be covering how you can actually use it in your editable grid okay this video is gonna be short and simple so yeah without wasting for the more time let's get right to the video cool so i already have code for this text display field and grid layout i'll just copy this okay and paste it over here cool now what i'll do i'll take another local variable to call my query entity okay i already have a query entity created and i'll just call that rule over here local i name it as local data rule k application okay and i will wrap this inside two data subset two data subset okay the second parameter is paging configuration okay now i'll take another local variable for paging okay paging a bank paging info and for this my local batch sorry my start index should be local start index okay and my batch size should be local batch size local batch size okay local start index will keep changing on click of operators okay and then i'll just call that local variable over here local paging cool now what i have to do i just have to pass that local data over here local data dot data and then i have these three fields okay to show the id name and status okay and what it says now it says cannot compare incompatible options of type integer and type number. okay i got it so here this local count is null see local count is null and we are comparing it over here in show when okay so this should be my local data dot total count local data dot total count i have total count in here this one so i will be using this total count okay i don't need this local variable anymore cool now just okay so if i click this i should see the next three rows okay let me click this okay only two rows are there cool cool i only have uh, five rows of data only five records that's the reason if i decrease the batch size to two okay i can see the first two rows and if i click this i should see the next two rows yes working as expected and if i click this i should see the last one row yeah five to six this is three to four so that's it for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye